going on guys it's your boy cmb don't forget to subscribe to the channel smash that like button and let's get into this one really quickly now guys uh, before i begin i want to say happy friday to everybody out there all the boxing fans out there around the world uh, if you're subscribed to my channel i want to thank you uh, for subscribing uh, for watching the videos for sharing the videos for liking the videos just want to let everybody know who takes time out to watch my videos that you're very much appreciated here uh, on the channel now let's talk about showtime uh, they got their schedule out their lineup and it seems like it goes up to june guys uh with the fights that they have scheduled here and i just want to thank showtime for listening to the fans and putting on these great fights i'm looking at the schedule here and it's just packed uh with great fights in my opinion uh the first one we got coming up this weekend of course uh brandon figurio taking on mark maxeo uh that's going to be a good fight in my opinion uh i think it'll be uh, a slugfest uh both of these guys like to throw their hands so that ought to be very entertaining to watch uh, that's March 4th, of course. Uh, then next Saturday, we have Tim Zhu versus Tony Harrison. And I think that's going to be a great fight. I do have Tony Harrison edging that fight out due to the skill set. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Uh, we have David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant. This is a fight people have been looking forward to for quite some time. Uh, this fight is March 25th, guys. Uh, this is one you probably don't want to miss. Uh, then... Saturday, April 8th, we have the return of Sebastian Fondora. Uh, he'll be taking on Brian Mendoza. That ought to be a great fight. And then the one that everybody's talking about, uh, the big fight, Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. That's Saturday, April 22nd. I'm going to try to be at that fight, guys. This is something that you really, really don't want to miss. Uh, then the next, uh, let's see. Saturday, May 13th, uh, is Alberto Puelo taking on Rolando Roli Ramiro. I actually did a video about that. Roli's going up to 140 to fight for uh, the WBA title there. Uh, that ought to be interesting to see. And then Saturday, June the 24th, we have Carlos uh, Adames taking on Julian Williams. So, uh, great lineup of fights. Uh, once again, I want to thank Showtime for listening to the fans and, and putting on this these great uh, lineups. Uh, for us to watch uh, before I go I know something's missing there I, I know uh, a lot of people are saying what where's Errol Spence Jr. not quite sure guys uh, what happened with that Errol Spence kind of quiet uh, when it comes to who he's facing next of course the the rumor was he's facing uh, Keith one time Thurman at 154 pounds but we have yet to hear anything from Errol's camp or uh anything from Keith Thurman's camp. So I guess we're just going to have to, to wait and see. Uh, by the way, it is Errol the True Spence Jr.'s birthday, so I want to send a birthday shout-out to him. Uh, you know, he's done a lot in the sport of boxing, uh, despite what some people say. I, I think he's a phenomenal athlete. Uh, also, I want to send a congratulations out to Terrence Bud Crawford. I didn't know he was in the movie Creed Three. Uh, that's big news there. I... I'm going to go watch that movie tomorrow and I'll probably do a straight out the theater reaction. I'll probably put it on my shorts here on the channel. But uh, you guys tell me what you think about Showtime's boxing lineup, the uh, schedule. Uh, are you excited about it? I, I think I think I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm just glad that they got good fights to give to the people. You guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.